welcome to another installment of Breaking Bully, the video series where I, Swekta, show you, the audience, how you can break bully. Breaking Bully is all about performing various interesting glitches and exploits to get some odd results out of bully. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to buy some Chapter 3 clothing and haircuts before you've even completed the second mission of the game, that'd be This Is Your School. Meaning that you'll be able to sport some grunge and punk-themed clothing way before you've even broken into Russell's locker at the beginning of the game. It even goes to the extent that you don't have to complete any more than 0.81% of the game before you're able to do this. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get to it. Normally, the game requires you to complete Chapter 1 and 2 before you have access to New Coventry, and thus be able to buy clothing and haircuts from the Final Cut. The Final Cut being the store we're gonna be glitching our way into in this video. The main entrance to New Coventry remains blocked off by a construction site throughout the first half of the game. What a wipe! And the other entrance to New Coventry also just so happens to be blocked off by a fallen tree. That's not what I thought would happen! This really makes little to no sense when you think about it. I don't know, I guess nobody in Bullworth noticed the complete lack of access to a third of the island. So if you have somebody who lives in Blue Skies or New Coventry, then they're not gonna be able to leave until, oh, I don't know, the middle of winter? Anyway, oddly enough, the entrance to the final cut remains open from the beginning of the game to the very end. So as soon as we get into New Coventry, we're gonna be able to enter the store and buy any clothing and haircuts we want. Now this could easily be a developer oversight, since all of the other stores in the game remain locked until you're meant to be able to access them. This even applies to Yum Yum Market, so you're not gonna be able to buy anything from there either. Before we proceed, I do think it is important to point out two things. First off, this glitch is not possible on the PC version or on Bully Classic. This is because Rockstar Games, for whatever reason, only fixed this glitch on the PC version, Bully Classic, and possibly on Anniversary Edition as well. And second of all, this exploit requires us to get Jimmy knocked out, so you're not gonna be able to do this trick until after you've completed the first mission of the game. This is because the very same mission simply restarts if you get knocked out or busted. So if you're gonna attempt this on a new game save, then make sure to complete the first mission before you do so. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna be playing Bully on my JTAG'd Xbox 360. Now you might be asking, hey Swagta, can I do this on a non-modded Xbox 360? Yes, it does not matter at all which type of Xbox you play the game on. This exploit is performed the exact same way on any type of Xbox, including the Xbox One. Or, so I think. I don't see why not. I'm actually gonna be buying an Xbox One soon, so if I'm wrong, then I don't know, I'll correct myself, I guess. Probably not. Anyway, let's jump into it by starting a new game. Start off by meeting the principal, then head over to the dorm, beat up Wade, meet up with Gary, buy a soda, head into your dorm room, and change into the school uniform. Now that all of that's done, let's glitch our way out of the academy. In the previous episode of Breaking Bully, I showed you how to get out of the academy during Halloween, so we're gonna be employing the same method in this video as well. Head on over to the trash can on the right side of the girl's dorm and make sure to align yourself closely to the wall. Jump into the trash can, aim the camera slightly towards the wall, and jump out. It may take you a few attempts before you get the hang of it. As soon as Jimmy has clipped through the wall, keep on jumping towards the outside until Jimmy goes through. Now you might have noticed that the clock is missing. This is because time remains frozen until you've completed the mission This Is Your School. Meaning that you probably have infinite time to roam around town before Jimmy passes out. And as a lot of you know, this is because the game has yet to introduce the time cycle system. And like I said in the beginning of this video, all other stores in the game remain unavailable until you're meant to have access to them. So unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to buy any clothing from Aquaberry or Worn In at this point in the game. So now that we've made our way out of the academy, how do we get into New Coventry? Simple. We're gonna glitch our way into Blue Skies, make our way to the bridge connecting New Coventry to Blue Skies, and Death Warp to the infirmary in New Coventry. It is kind of a convoluted plan, but it's foolproof, so don't worry about it. Start off by traveling to the beach near the bridge to the right side of the academy. 
Here we're gonna pull off a simple invisible wall exploit by jumping against the rocks. Most of the buildings and structures in Bully have invisible walls around them, serving as an easy method of preventing the player from clipping through walls. Rockstar Games did a pretty lazy job with the ones around the rocks, so it is easy to climb the rocks simply by jumping against them. And just like with the trash can glitch I showed you earlier, it may take you a few attempts before you get the hang of it. Swim to the harbor in blue skies and try to avoid any hostile townies. I'd recommend grabbing the bike near the harbor entrance if you feel like playing it safe. Next, navigate to the new Coventry Bridge. Here you'll see a construction site. Remember when I said that Rockstar Games did a pretty lazy job with the invisible walls around the rocks at the beach? The same thing applies here. Because the player is not supposed to be able to enter Blue Skies before Chapter 4 has begun, Bully's developers made sure to add an invisible wall to the other side of the bridge. They did, however, not even bother adding one to this side of the bridge. Meaning that this side of the construction site has no collision at all. Jump into the water and swim to the other side of the bridge. Jimmy will immediately get knocked out and you'll find yourself respawning at the infirmary in New Coventry. Yeah! I gotta stop doing that. From here on, just make your way to the final cut and buy whatever clothing and haircuts you want. Keep in mind, however, that Jimmy only has 50 bucks to spend, so you're not gonna be able to buy most of the clothing. In fact, you're just gonna be able to buy a few items at best. Now that we're done shopping, how do we get back into the academy? Well, just like the bridge in New Coventry, the collision only applies to one side of the construction site in the New Coventry Tunnel. Simply go through the construction site and you'll find yourself back in Bullworth Town. From here on, you'll have to get busted outside of the school if you want to teleport back into the academy. To do this, you'll need a full wanted level. For the sake of simplicity, and cause why not, I decided to find a nearby Alan and give him a good old punch. You got shot! As soon as a bunch of cops are immediately alerted to your location, lead them back to the academy. All you need to do now is get busted near the school gates. Now interestingly enough, there is actually one part of the school's entrance where prefects and cops simply can't get to you. Now I don't know why this is, but I do think that it might have something to do with the gates being closed. If anybody has an idea as to why this is happening, let me know and I might pin your comment in the comment section below. Anyway, back on point. Get a prefect or a cop to bust you and you'll be sent back to the school infirmary. That hurt you much more than it hurt me. Alright, let's try that again. Now you might have noticed that I did not get sent to the principal's office. This is because you have not explored the school's main building with Gary just yet, so you're not gonna face any detention if you get busted. Oh no, not again! Hey, Jimmy! So let me show you around this prison. So, there you have it. This is how you unlock Chapter 3 clothing and haircuts before you've even completed the second mission in the game. Now you'll be able to rock some cool clothing throughout Chapter 1 and 2, way before you're supposed to be able to even buy these clothes. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give the video a like. And hey, if you're new to my channel, why not stick around? I cover bully more than anybody else on YouTube, so you're bound to find a lot of interesting bully content on my channel. If any of that seems interesting, then please, by all means, subscribe for more. Anyway, that's it for this video. You folks, as always, stay classy. Peace.